Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ay, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga. I'm feeling great. And just like that, frame off season is underway. And we're gonna call this perfection because the little baby truck is definitely gonna smack. And maybe I'll get a G-Wagon that matches this one because, yes, Little Baby's G-Wagon is probably the sickest color combo out there on the planet right now. And that's why this is going black and blue. But there's something about the black overlays on the blue powder coat that just, it, so we're going to start getting this thing all back together. I have to get some more parts from powder coat tomorrow because they weren't all done today and they powder coated a lot of stuff. They did axles, the hitch, all the overlays, the control arms, the cradles, the upper cross member, the sway bar, all of these deals that, I don't know what these are called. No, I'm kidding. All the axle shafts, the caliper mounts, these yoke deals that go on the end of the axle shafts, and then they slide into the hub. Our high steer plate that goes onto the top of this, which I thought that was supposed to be black, but I guess I, guess I can't complain there. Diff cover right here, this diff cover. Before you guys jump to conclusion and say that's not welded, it's so the water can drain because we don't want to have our water built up inside there and then our diff cover rust out and then have a rusty truck because I won't build a rotted out truck. That's just not my type. We are hard at work getting this thing done and I am just like amazed with the color combo on it. And yeah, that's definitely gonna look insane once we get all the black accents on it. And get all the overlays onto the axles and the sway bar on it sway bar overlays we're going tomorrow to pick up the rest of the black powder coated stuff so all the tubing the links for the sway bars and a lot of the small parts for the truck like the body mounts all that stuff's going black and now time for the fun part that's getting our new bushings into the axle so what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to home depot and find a contraption to build to mount these into those axles because they're not fun. And then we gotta go pick up some ball joints, some hubs, brake pads, and send someone out to the powder coat shop because I don't wanna drive out there today. I really just wanna get this thing all done. And powder coat's about a three hour round trip. And three hours here can definitely get this front axle on the ground. Doughboy, when are you gonna finish your truck? Huh? When are you gonna finish your truck? I I'm done seeing it with just the bed. <laughs> What do you need for it? New uh, cross member. And oh. I need a coilover. Coilovers? All right, well, you, you can pay me for them now. Okay, we like that. That'll work. All right, take them home. See you, bye. Although we did get back the rest of the stuff from Powder Coat, and I'm hoping it's all in here. I'm hoping that nothing got lost because I did take a lot of stuff there. And I know this pallet's very... Oh, I know this pallet's very I know this pallet's very heavy, so we're gonna now cut it open and see what's in there. And all the stuff black wise is back from powder coat. I am missing though the body mounts for it, so I have to call them, get those because we kind of need them to set the body on the truck. But other than that, everything else looks like it's here. Now it's time to assemble and find a transmission for this truck. Y'all may ask yourself. Why is he putting on steel shocks when the truck has coilovers for it? Well, reason being is that we're gonna build it with the dummy shocks on it because this is exactly where it sits at ride height, which will allow me to get everything aligned without having the shocks on there because obviously the body's gonna compress the shocks down more. So if I throw the coilovers on it now, that means it's gonna sit a lot taller than it'll sit with the body on it. And I'm trying to get it all aligned and like done ASAP. The best part is cleaning powder coat out of these bushing sleeve deals. 
And we're gonna push this one back out because yes, it has powder coat inside there and that's no good. I guess you could say our contraption worked of PVC pipe, axle tab brackets, and the impact. But we got one control arm on and this thing is now finally starting to come together. I have to figure out which arm is which though because I think the longer one's for the bottom or the smaller one's for the top or one way they go, I forgot. I gotta look at my computer and see. But we got the rear axle getting put together. Doughboy ran and got a socket, I guess, to tighten these up. So that'll be tight. We'll be able to throw the rotors on, get the calipers all reassembled because they got powder coated. And yes, they're all brand new. All the stuff's brand new. We'll get all that mounted on today. Hopefully get the gears in it today. I gotta pull down the kings and get those cleaned up, polished, and install our coil springs on them. Take the axle shafts to the drive shaft place, get the O-rings that go on the axle shafts for the rear to seal that, clean out the differential, get the sway bar mounted up, get the links on it. We have to bolt in the cradle still because it's just held on right now, I think, by two bolts right there. And at some point, this has to get clean to get the sump installed, mounted in the truck because we actually got the, the gas tank straps powder coated for it, so that should look pretty good up inside there, holding in our fuel tank. Dude! Why? Why does my exhaust fall off every single time I drive this truck? But it's fine though because we got an Amazon score and now we have a new 10 inch clamp for it because it's got a 10 inch downpipe on it. But, so Kevin came up here two days ago? Two days ago, two years. If you guys don't know who Kevin is, he is the massive F450 daddy down in St. Louis, Missouri. And now, oh, where's, where's the remote? Now he has, Sorry, Sorry, now he has stars. Well, just like Juice World said, now I need the car with the stars in the roof, but Kevin has the, the TV and the stars. So when Kevin's hauling all of his whores around, he can watch on his 12 inch TV. Um, what, what movie do girls like? Outer Banks actually on Netflix. He can stream it with the stars and yeah, he will probably take your mom. It's nice having a backup camera now because I mean, the trailer is not here, but now I won't back into the trailer. And the trailer is a whole nother story. Gabe went partying too hard with it and decided to blow the axle out of it because he decided, you know, a 44 foot trailer on the back of Maggot to ditch bang. So maybe his video will get dropped of him ditch banging my trailer with his big truck and completely annihilating the gooseneck. But it's fine though, we got it getting fixed for the 12th time and it'll be ready to haul all these monster trucks to shows. So right now, you guys probably hear it actually. This thing screams, it's so loud because the exhaust fell off of it. Now we'll climb underneath there and put her back on. Now that there's a new clamp on the downpipe, it shouldn't leak up there. the exhaust sounds a lot better now and maybe that means that because the shop bay is open that the dually can go back inside possibly is that what that means or no or does the dually stay outside or does the mega cab become a dually finally you guys can decide but yes that will probably get pushed inside kevin's f450 is back out here now and he is about to head back down to missouri came up here for the weekend to hang out with us we had some fun and yeah now let's go back in the shop. We're gonna talk about this truck because we have some other plans for it now. Speaking of a transmission and yeah. Well, the mega cab got parked and it, it just decided to smoke the serpentine belt, which, oh yeah, that's not good. The mega cab's belt is definitely, oh, that's, that's not healthy. We have to gather a lot of things, including hubs, u joints for the axle shafts, the coilovers need polish yet still because they look like this and that's not gonna fly on on this truck. But they're up there and now we're gonna get those polished here, hopefully this week. And that'll allow us to get this thing back on the ground. I'm gonna go order all the covers for the ball joints and like the nuts, the covers that like cover them up. 
and we have to buy the seals for the front axle. And go figure, we let Doughboy party with this thing, and he decides that, you know, the hole right here isn't for the tool I told him to use. So had he used an air hammer inside of here, we probably wouldn't have party with the wrong. I love you. You're going home? I'm going home. That, that's... Work, because I still work a full-time job. Damn, you don't want to build monster trucks today? I, I want to, but I'm not, I can't. All right. See you, bye. It's always a sad day when your friends from out of town leave. Like, when I go to Thompson's house and I stay there for a month, I don't want to leave. And like, but I have to leave and I get pissed off and I don't want to drive home. So Kevin is now headed out to his five hour adventure back to Missouri today. And hey, at least he gets to ride in the stars. So we got that done for him. And yes. So now that he's heading home, we're actually going to O'Reilly's. We're gonna gather all the seals and stuff for this truck. I have to go to, I think, Indiana Driveline it's called. They have the U joints, they're gonna install them for us because I don't feel like dealing with these. We have to find a tap yet still for the Heim joints. I'm gonna order a tap or make my own tap out of the Heim joints I have laying around here. Get the seals for the axle shafts in the rear. I need the crush sleeve for the pinion. I already have the rear seals installed on it actually. Brand new rear seals inside there that our wonderful dough baby put on. And at least, at least he didn't strip out the seals if that's possible. But he definitely smoked this thing right here, as I just showed you guys. And now, yeah, but we need a new one of these. I could probably chase the threads on here and I'm pretty sure he might've already ordered up a new nut. And yeah, also the hubs are gonna be here. We ordered them from Detroit Axle. So now O'Reilly's just gotta go grab the seals for the front and that should be good. O'Reilly's came in clutch. We got the seal for the front of the pinion right here. So that slides in there. All brand new, of course, because why would we want to reuse old seals like some of the truck builders out there do? And not even the truck builders, but people like the half-ass stuff. I'm not half-assing this truck. Everything's gonna be brand new. All new ball joints, everything, the whole nine. Every bolt is being replaced. So that's the way you want to do it. We got all the overlays on already. The cross brace is in. We got a bolt in the cradle yet still. I don't think any of these bolts are tight besides the back ones. We gotta tighten up the air dog along with clean the fuel tank like I said, install the sump and the trans cross member, all the calipers, buy new body mounts, mount the sway bar. We gotta grind down some of the sway bar right here from where the powder coat's at. That way it actually spins freely on there. And we'll use our aluminum blocks right here that the sway bar gets held onto the frame with. It's all about the details, guys. And this is why we powder coated our hitch because why would we not want to have a hitch? When I'm buying four jet skis here in the spring, I definitely need to be able to tow all of them at once with this truck. And that's why we went ahead and put a hitch back on it and not left it off. And now we can buy the Gen Y for it along with the braces that go on with time joints. But let's talk about Doughboy's truck really quick because he went ahead and bought all of his coilovers actually. And now he will be able to get that thing on the ground and it'll it'll roll which will be amazing because then it'll be out of my shop and on its way so we got right here these are 14 inch travel rad flows for it yeah 14 inch travel rad flows along with another set of 14s down there but my dually outside is set up right now for 14s in the front and 12s in the rear doughboy needs 12s in the front or no, 14's in the front and 12's in the rear of his. So, I'm trading him a set of his 14's for my 12's, which are right there for the dually. So in theory, you guys know what that means. If you go up in the coilover size, your overall lift height is gonna go higher. So with a six inch bottom mount, a six inch upper mount on my dually, along with a 14 inch travel shock now, it should sit about, let's say four inches higher. And that'll allow us to completely tower Kevin's truck and Gabe's truck. Well, maybe not Gabe truck because for some reason it's in Texas now and it's a lot bigger, like 12 inches higher. Um, I don't know why, but he said that was the best thing for it. A pretty cool gift I got for Christmas, I will show you guys, from another local fab shop is can holders. So what they do is they screw onto the wall and it allows you to put spray paint cans in it. For instance, let me grab a spray paint can really quick. And you can hang them on the wall and it stores them. So. If you guys want some of these made, we can most likely get them out 
And I got four of them now here at the shop. I'm probably gonna put up on the wall, hang a board on the wall. That way it's a little bit more organized. But when I seen it, I was like, sick, dude, this is awesome. They even incorporated my business logo inside there, which is pretty cool. Powder coated black. And obviously you guys know how I like my blue. So they already knew they had to go blue behind there. This rotor could probably go back on now, to be honest. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now the rotors are on the back of it. I need to order the caliper mount bolts right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we will get those installed today along with the rebuild kit that's on the way for the brake calipers because all the calipers got powder coated actually. And that's probably gonna be a headache getting them to go back together because yes. Imagine this, imagine putting this, this rusty ball joint back inside there. That probably wouldn't have looked too good to be honest with you. So I about crashed my scooter and that probably wouldn't have been good. But what I'm gonna say though, is if you guys like watching these videos and you guys wanna keep up with the builds, be sure to like, comment, and last of all, make sure you guys subscribe because when you subscribe and you go on YouTube, you're like, oh damn, Daddy Brandon uploaded today. I gotta watch his video. And then that allows us to do more fun stuff like this, I would say, and have more monster trucks around here because I don't know, I guess me having two monster trucks just isn't enough. But with that being said, it's gonna to end today's video. We're probably gonna to crash this scooter, so see you bye.